Here at C-SPAN headquarters in North Vancouver, BC, CEO John McCarthy is making an announcement that will provide huge opportunities for Indigenous people. I'm really excited about today's announcement with C-SPAN's investment of over $5 million to the Musqueam, Squamish and tsleil Education and Training Center uh, Society. It's really exciting. Uh, these funds will provide opportunities for your community members to pursue long-term careers in the fast-growing marine industry, and it's really a great pleasure to be celebrating this event today. For Squamish Nation Council member Wilson Williams, he says he's excited to see the careers opening up for his people. Right out there on the docks, whether it's uh, on, the, on the ships, building the ships, or anything from engineering to office-level jobs, administration, uh, there's a whole variety here. You can see um, the growth of C-SPAN you know, through the years. 20-year-old Kathleen Nutrell is from the Squamish Nation. After completing electrical training through Access, she is now an electrician apprentice at C-SPAN, and she is excited for her future. It may seem scary at first, but you never know until you try. You can't knock something until you try it. Trades can be intimidating, but personally, Seeing my work come to life is just a feeling that you can't, I know I can't get that from working like in an office. I've tried it before, it's not the same. David Hargraves is the Senior Vice President of Strategies for C-SPAN. He says this is a big opportunity for his workforce as well. We're very um, honored to be on the, the traditional lands okay. of, the, of the three nations and we're very respectful of that and we're on a journey to learn all about that. So, uh, and part of that is, is the employment part, part of it is the supply chain part, but another, a big part of it is sort of just the learning and education of, of our workforce and of us uh, about, you know, how, how can we be more respectful? How can we build relationships? So we've come a long way in regards to building that path. They have now jumped in a canoe with us. The training will take place over the next five years. Tina House, APTN National News, North Vancouver.